in front of the uh, Orthodox Church. Yeah. Honor your father and your mother. Uh, and love yeah. your neighbor. <laughs> have you ever read the Quran? Have you ever looked into the life of uh, the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and What about in Luke 6, uh, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, 27, where Jesus is allegedly have said, but I say to you here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. This is the deal, the deal. Assalamu alaikum guys. Behind us uh, is, a, is a church here. And we are, we just passed over from the, in Bosnia you have different sections that are, you have different sections that are considered RS. Uh, called Republic of Serbska. So we're actually in the Republic of Serbska. It's kind of confusing for some people, but you're... Well, yeah, you can see the flag here. So, I read an article, and we'll have that on our Facebook page. Uh, he was a Chetnik who was known for blessing the, the weapons of those who were out there contributing to the genocide in Bosnia. And he talks about many other things in this art article. We'll post it, you can see it. And, and at the end of the article, he talks about uh, losing his soul. And he built a church out here, and I believe he's in this area. So we've taken it upon ourselves to come try to, try to meet this bishop and invite him to the purpose. Since he's lost his soul, he's probably done a lot of atrocities, done a lot of evil, horrific things. But uh, Allah is the most merciful, Allah is the most kind. We as Muslims, we come out, you know, with uh, that intention to invite purpose to pur people to purpose, to, to, to peace, peace with their Creator. You know, always giving people the benefit of the doubt. So, inshallah, we're here. Hopefully, we can find them and meet them and see how things go. We're here at the church. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Look around. That's yeah. Somebody. Uh, we can come. He, sh he should be here all morning, he said. Yeah. So where are, where are we exactly now? This is uh, Lukovica, right? Uh, a town uh, Serbian in the RS, Republika Srpska, a town that's actually used to be part of Sarajevo before the war and uh, after the war the border of the Federation of Bosnia and Republika Srpska, this is the border town, Sarajevo across the border begins this town of Lukavica, which yeah. used, to, used to belong to Sarajevo. Yeah. They, it, it used to be called after the war, they call it Srpsko Sarajevo, yeah. but then they had to change the name because it doesn't belong only to the Serbs. So they had to change the name to Eastern Sarajevo. Mm -hmm. Now the official name of Lukovica is Istočno Sarajevo. Do, do in general uh, Muslims and Christians, the Orthodox, do they have these type of uh, engaging conversations, you know, uh, to go ahead and talk with each other and to kind of, uh, do Muslims come and try to deliver the message of the Deen of Islam, of purpose of life. To no, actually, not at all. Here in Bosnia, not at all. That's a, that's a taboo subject. So, let them live with their religion. We live with our religion, and uh, nobody is trying to deliver. Few people. There are few people uh, dies here in Bosnia. I don't. I'm not sure if they go to to Serbian parts to call the Serbs to Islam. It's also kind of dangerous, you know, because here. Uh, the war has stopped, but the peace is always shaking, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the the most problem when you see it from the relig religion, uh, the most problem is uh, the people look at religion as part of of the nation of na of nationalism. There's a strong uh, nationalism here in Bosnia between Serbs, Croats, and Bosniaks, and uh, they put it in the same bag. Like if you're a Croat, you're a Catholic. 
And if you're a Serb, you're an Orthodox. If you're a Bosniak, you're a Muslim. But it doesn't have to be like this. You can choose your nationality, whatever you are. If you like Croatia, if you like Croats, you can be a Croat but still be a Muslim. You can be a Serb, love Serbia, love, love the Republika Srpska even. But be a Muslim, be a Muslim, submitting to God, believing in one God, your nationality doesn't matter there. So, but the people, the mindset of the people here is, they don't, they don't quite get that. Yeah, but uh, anybody uh, who has some kind of knowledge of Islam, who reads the Quran, uh, who understands the life of uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, they should be able to see that this was his mission, his whole life was and then you read the Quran and the themes over and over from Prophet Abraham inviting the people to the purpose of life to submit their will to the Creator Islam uh, Moses Musa Jesus peace be upon him uh, Prophet Muhammad now we get to him all the messengers and then Prophet Muhammad being the last they all they all continued with this mission of Dawah of sharing the message we can't change nobody's heart Allah is controller of the hearts uh, we can't uh, force anything on anyone but you know, if you love for mankind what you love for yourself, yeah, our you, thing is to, del deliver, is the message, to yeah. deliver the message, to share it with the people, and that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Uh, Allah says in the Quran, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. Invite all, not some, not just, you know, who you think should be invited, but Allah says, This is your creator. It says, Invite all to the way of your Lord with hikmah, with beautiful preaching. So we'll try our best again. But Inshallah. we're here in front of the uh, church. And uh, this is the, what, what do you call him, Pope or uh, Bishop? Not Pope, it's Pope. Pope. It's like uh, like a priest. He's like a pre Pope. Know, Pope. The, Pope. So priest. Yeah. yeah. So That's he he was the one in the article. He was the one in the article. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who said? You read the articles. I yeah. mean about him who blessed the the killings, blessed the weapons of yeah. the murderers. And you said he said he he. He lost his soul, yeah, but still uh, uh, he says he's a man of God. Yeah, at the end of the article, they're quoting him. We'll put the article up, you can watch it. At the end, he said he lost his soul. So you're a man of God. You know, he talked about, you know, um, other things about being in the mood to kill. He talks about losing his soul and other things. Uh, but it reminds me, see, Allah, you might have done all these horrific things, right? You've been, been, been an extremist chetnik, you know, misrepresenting the true teachings of Jesus, killing innocent people. But... Allah's mercy is above all that. Yes. Right? If you turn to the Creator alone and you repent and you change your ways, Allah can forgive all that. So we're here. Yes, we have even uh, examples from the from the Prophet Muhammad alayhi uh, salam. From later, the people that they became his Sahaba, the people who had been fighting Muslims and killing Muslims, but repented and uh, accepted Islam and became the, the best of the best. Yeah. So we're here to share all this valuable information, our love, our deep love for Jesus, you know, as a mighty messenger. You know, so many commonalities, there's so many things to share. You know, Muhammad, the last and final messenger, uh, people don't know about that. Uh, so the commonalities, purpose of life, the evidence in the Quran, so many things to talk about. And usually you make that human connection, you talk about that. One, you're fulfilling your obligation. You know, two, you're helping to save people from the hellfire you're getting the reward from your creator i mean i can go on and on but inshallah we'll well, if it's meant to be we'll hook up and uh meet uh this uh chetnik and uh inshallah some good can come from it because we are the muslims and muslims are those people of peace who call the peace directing people to have a relationship with the owner of peace the creator of the heavens and the earth So here we're looking at the sign right before you come into the Republic of Srpska. That Komadic, the general, who's responsible for the genocide in Srebrenica. That's what this is uh, talking about? Yes, that's right here at the border of the Federation, federal part of Sarajevo and the Serbian part of Sarajevo. Yeah. And uh, they're praising Ratko Mladic that he gathered here the two battalions of the army. So at this place, that's it, that's all that it says. Assalamu alaikum. We just entered the Republic of Srpska and we're heading over, we tried yesterday to 
to visit the former commander, still a priest. Still a priest, yeah. Still a priest of the Orthodox Church. And he wasn't around yesterday. So what we know about him thus far was he was a commander in the Chetnik unit. In the Chetnik unit in Gurbavitsa, right down the hill from here, mm. part of Sarajevo now. So we're pulling up to the church here. We're here in Republic of Srpska. Do many people do this? Do they come over here? Any uh, Muslims? Are there, as far are there, as I know, no. no. Is there still that tension here? Do Muslims uh, visit these parts? Only if they have some necessity. Yeah. So it looks like it's a packed house. Yep. Yeah. Many cars around. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, inshallah, we'll be welcomed. Inshallah, um, well. I know, I, I myself, I get pretty excited when, uh, you know, not yet Muslims, non Muslims come visit us at the uh, masjid. I get very excited, you know, to greet them, to have a talk with them, and hopefully uh, we'll get the same reception. So we're back here in front of the uh, Orthodox Church. Looks like uh, the service is uh, about to end soon. And, and our intention here is to, to make the human connection, to sit, to talk, maybe find some common ground. And this is what our Dean teaches. Inshallah, some, uh, some khayr, as they say, some good can come from this. So we're, uh, we're literally right in front of the church. And give us some, some history here in this, this area. Like, um, there is, to this day, is there some tension between the, the between uh, Bosnians and Serbs? And we don't, do we, do uh, any Muslims live around here? Do they come around here at all? Or does any, everyone kind of keep to themselves? Well, uh, the tension in Bosnia is still, since the war is over, so over 25 years, almost 25 years since the war is over, there has been tensions in between Serbs, Croats and Bosniaks. And uh, mo uh, the smaller the town is, the, the, the bigger the tension is. So this is a small, small town here, right uh, near Sarajevo where mostly Serbs live. There are probably some Bosniaks, some Muslims that used to live here before the war that came back after the war to, to their homes. But I don't know now the, the facts, the numbers, but it's a small percentage. So uh, they are usually left in peace. Nobody bothers them, but you know, you gotta keep to yourself and uh, also other Muslims from other parts of, uh, let's say, from Sarajevo, they would come here only if they have any necessities. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, not really, no. Uh, do, we, do we see any um, Muslims, like in, in, Amer in America, what we have is um, we have open houses, we invite Christian priests, we invite Christians, and they'll come to the Jumas, they'll observe, They'll ask questions, we invite them, we have these open houses. Is there such a thing that's done here at all to invite the neighbors, to invite, we invite our neighbors Not to get I to know, know us, to get to know Islam, to Not ask their I questions? Know. Not that I know. This here is a, you don't talk, you don't do that stuff around here because this is mostly connected to nationalism. So you don't want to invite a, a Orthodox Serbian to a masjid or they will not invite, they will not invite any let's say Muslims or, or uh, Croat Catholics to their church uh, they just that stuff nobody does here nobody mm. does it here maybe this can be a, a, um, a start we can set a good trend huh well this Possibly. inshallah this is a start this is a start we came here to the church to talk to this priest from my knowledge no, nobody does that. Nobody has done this before, so, but definitely it should. 
it should. It can come to, to more of a peace between people when they talk about openly, let's say, you believe in this, we believe in this, let's talk about it. Is it dangerous, do you think, what we're doing here? People think this is dangerous, yes. It is kind of dangerous what we're doing here. You, you never know how he's going to react, if he's going to see this as a provocation, you know, that we came here to provoke yeah. him, which we definitely uh, did, is that, did is, not. Is that him? I don't know, let's go see. Let's go, come on. Hopefully start a good night. Hi, do you speak English? No? Okay. People starting to come out in the church. Because of all the pain that's been caused in this area, you know, just imagine if you had to, you needed a job and you needed to work in a factory and there was Serbians, Croatians there. Maybe you, you, you know, because of the genocide and things that happened, you didn't have that good feeling towards someone, but you had to be professional. You had to work in the factory, you had to work in the job. You'd go there and you'd be professional. As us, we have to deliver the message of La ilaha illallah. There's nothing worthy of worship except the Creator Allah. We have to do that. And Muhammad is the messenger. So that's what we're coming to do here today in a peaceful, benign way, with compassion, with love. And, uh, Inshallah, we're received with some uh, with some love. There's a there right up uh, up here. There's a there's a, like a horse with a man on it. What does that mean? Do you know? It's probably some kind of a saint that they believe in. Yeah, I don't know which one what it is. Yeah. Uh, I think he's coming out. How are you? Tax. Okay, should I talk? You know, preach at English. Yeah. You preach at English. Okay, should I talk? Sure, we say we are. I'm going to film one of the shows in America. And where is it? Dean's show in America, in Chicago. Aha. Wow. I wanted to hear it. You hear it? Da najbolje sutra uvijecu da uvijecite. Nije tu, sutra se vrča za Amerikanje. Ako imate pet minuta... Ajde. Nice to meet you. Drago mi je da vas upoznam. Ja. Drago mi je i meni i pozdravljam koji će gledati ovu emisiju. What we try to do is try to open the doors of communication between human beings. Specifically between Muslims and Christians. So we can better understand each other. Tu je još jedna stvar. Ovdje je bio ekumenski pokret. Da zbližavala se i vjere i religije. Pa, to je promovisano na drugom Vatikanskom saboru. Sarada je. Ali... It used to be a uh, uh, communication, but it's uh, getting lower. Yeah. There used to be a communication yeah, between the religions. There is a council that uh, is here to, to communicate between the religions and yeah, between religions. Tako da prije je taj pokret je u Evropi zaživio nego u Americi. That movement was earlier in Europe than in America. Jeli neke stvari a vi Ameri predstavljate a Evropa je to proživjela. You Americans try to represent some things now which Europe already has. Sad, ovo ekumensko vijeće koje je sjedište u Sarajevu, oni su, glavni su rejs 
kardinal i mitropolit, oni se mijenjaju u vremenskom periodu. I tako, što se tiče ekumenizma, ovde je u opadanju. Would you like to see, bil ti tijel viti, would you like to see that this door opens of communication, that Muslims come here, you come there, and we discuss and we dialogue about religion, about life, about purpose. You know what it is? Rat is from him everything. Because here was a civil and religious war. Schools work on that. I read the stamps, and one and the other go into the God. As far as the religion of the ecumenism, what do you think when we find in the Bible, in, for instance, Matthew 19, 19, yeah. honor your father and your mother, and love your neighbor? It's more and more, it's a less and less uh, respect to the mother and father and the yeah, nearest yeah, yeah. in this time. Potome se mora raditi. To je moralna disciplina. That's a moral discipline, moral a, discipline a, what you have to do. A, ta je disciplina poistekla od te zapovijesti. And it came from that. How about loving your neighbor? A world konšiju. Kako ljudi? Ja sam ovdje s komšijama, Bogom dano, ja da sam komšiluk birao, ne bi ga tako našao. Ja sam ovu u crku pravio i napravio sam onu baraku kad ništa nije bilo ovo. I mojom popularnošću je ovo. What about in Luke 6, uh, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, 27, where Jesus is allegedly have said, but I say to you here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Šta mi gledaš? Ništa, ja prebodim kada se vas gledam, da završite da mogu. Jesu Tomadića, što je to? To je teško pitanje. Da li znaš, 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 što mislite kad kažete, kad čujete mene da kažem ja volim Isusa? Ja volim Isusa. Isusa. Ja volim Isusa. Šta mislite onda o tome? Šta misliš za to? Pa to je moralno tvoje da voliš. Ja mogu ići u vatru ako išta loše kažem za... I can go to the hellfire, God will punish me if I say one bad thing of Jesus. Ići ću u pako ako išta kažem loše u Isusu. Pa to te islijedi. Ja. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers that God sent to convey the message, just like Abraham and Moses, that there's only one God and you worship him alone. We believe that he was one of the great messengers that he gave the message, just like Abraham and Moses, that he was one of the great God. Monotheism. Yes. To say that I have faith in the faith. To je svrha vjere i to je to. Ja taka pitanja ne bih postavio. There is no need to ask these questions. But this is to show... Ti meni postavljaš pitanje to. A ja sam sveštenik. What sveštenik? Priest. This is to show like when you... If me and you, if I say, hey, you like basketball? Say, yes. You like football? Yes. You like the color blue? Yes. To show commonalities. Da pokažemo sličnosti, to isto kao da vas pitam, volite košarku, volim, volite futbal, volim. Ne, to je vulgaris. To je vulgaris. Što je vulgaris? Ne znam. Vulgarno to je. Vulgar, to je vulgar. To je 
nije za razgovor. It's not to talk about. A o kojoj, šta mislite? Boga i sport. Ne, ne, ne. No, no, no. To je samo primjer koji je dao. Da nađemo ono zajedničko, da o tome pričamo. Because Christians are not going anywhere. Muslims are not going anywhere. We have to live in this earth and we have to find a common ground to live in peace. Moramo živjeti zajedno na ovoj zemlji i da nađemo zajednički temelj da živimo u miru. And Jesus tells us to love your enemies, to love your neighbor. Islam says the same thing. Jesus kaže da treba da volimo neprijatelja i komšiju isto kao Islam. And Islam says that we also worship one and only one God. Kao isto u Islamu je monoteizam da se obožava jedan Bog. Ali čuješ, ja sam odrastao, odrastao sam pored džamije i katoličke crkve. I grew up besides a mosque and a catholic church. I tako, to mi je jasno. Ali kad drugi oče rat, ja neću rat. When other want the war, I don't want a war. So don't you think this is how we can prevent something like that is by communicating, talking, making the human connection? Da li mislite da bi spriječilo tako nešto poput rata, da je dobro onda da pričamo jedni sa drugima? Da se razumijemo, to understand each other. Čuješ. Pa bi Ameri, rat, rat je te celo vrijeme. You Americans have war all the time. I'm talking me and you. Pričam ja i vi. Do you hate me? Ja sam mnogo Amerikanaca, vojnika znao. Dolazili su mi. I razgovori su ti bili sa njima. Rat i mir. Ja kajem već, ja sam izišao iz rata. A vi ste došli ovdje. Ko mi? Americans, yeah. He's saying, I left the war and you, Americans, the troops, you came here. I was reading an article where you said, correct me if I'm wrong, that you felt like you lost your soul. What is that? Oh, to je Maharska televizija. Prenjela, to je plaćeno. A niste znači to rekli? Bože, sad ću. Pa ja pola, ja sam pola Sarajeva nahranio u toku rata. I fed half the Sarajevo during the war. 120 hiljada, preko 120 hiljada paketa sam preko Miljatske poslo. Over 120.000 packages I sent over the Miljatska. Eto, to je ekumenizam. Jer pola paketa je bilo srpski, a da... A ovo drugo bilo muslimanski i hrvatski. Half the packages I sent were for Serbs and half were for Croats, Catholics and Muslims. Did you ever hear or study the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him? Jeste li kad čuli ili izučavali nešto o životu Muhammeda? Kako nisam, morao sam učiti u školi. I had to in school. I za sudjama i u bogoslovi. And during my studies. We believe that the God out of his love he sent messengers and every God is in love yeah so out of his love and mercy he sent messengers and they all came with the same message Christos je došlo iz ljubavi božanske And they all came with the same message for human beings to submit their will to the one God. I svi su došli sa istom porukom da se predaju, da svoju volju predaju Božjoj volji. Ja. Make sense? Jel ima smisla? Da se svi ljudi predaju Božjoj volji. Ja. And we believe Muhammad is the final messenger. I vjerujemo da je Muhammad posljednji poslanik. He confirms Jesus. Koji je potvrdio Isusa. Moses. Mojsija. Abraham. Abrahama. And, and... And to love God, and to worship Him alone. I da obožavaju samo jednog Boga. Čuješ, to je, to mi propovjedamo u crkvi stalno. That's what we say in the church all the time. To 
nikako čudo nije za nas, za ovaj svijet. This is nothing new for us. I što se tiče vjere, jači smo od njih preko okeana. And we are in faith much stronger than you guys over the ocean. Digresija, koje je ovom vjere? Musliman. Musliman, ne? Does he know what Muslim means? Znaš mu što znači musliman? Ja. Pokoravanje Bogu i Božjoj volji. Pravo vjerujući. Pa ne, musliman, baš kao rije, znači pokoravanje Bogu i Božjoj volji. Submitting to God and God's will, right? Yes. Ovaj, ovo što sam pomenuo, da sam ja rekao. To smo čitali. Budi Bog s nam. Ja znam. To smo ga došli pitat. Nikad nisam ja rekao. To je intervju nametnut i plaćen. Al Jazeera je platila. Dobro. He said that interview that was paid to put it out like this, he swears he would never say something like that. Do you have any questions that, or misconceptions about Islam or Muslims that you can ask and maybe that can remove some of the negative thoughts that you might have? Forget about, forget about, Uh, pretend like nothing ever happened as far as war or anything. We're just talking purely, you know, from a, a religious standpoint. Ima te li nekih pitanja ili nejasnoća o islamu koje bi volili pitat da razjasnite nejasnoća, a zaboravite sve, rati to što je bilo. Čuješ jednu stvar. Ja u islamu znam. I know about islam. He knows about islam? Ili ja sam ti rekao da sam ja odrastao uz džamiju i katoličku crvu. Ok. Does he know what La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah? Did he ever hear this? Does he know what it means? Jeste li kad to čuli? Jesam. I znate što znači? Nema Boga osim jednog i Muhammed je njegov poslanik. Does he know that during the time of Jesus they would say La ilaha illallah Isa Rasulullah? To su za vrijeme Isusa govorili. Ma ja. Nema Boga osim jednog, Isus je poslanik. Ma ja. Did he hear it? Did he understand that? Yes. Does he, when he hears the edan, does he know what that means? Znate li ezan šta znači? Kad ga čuje te ezan, znate li riječ šta znači on je na ezan? A šta je? Alem. Alem? Ja. Učenik. Alim, Alim. Alim? Na džami je kugla. Ona. O, the mask, the ball, what is that? Ništa, ne predstavlja. Tako se zove. Aha, to nas pita. Ok, he's asking if he knows something he knows. Oh, thank you. That's what he means now. Thank you, thank you. Does, um, so, when, when, when you hear these things, like, you know when, when the, that, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, means God is the greatest, God is the greatest. Did you know it means that? Ja se uznal da znači Allah Akbar, da znači i Bog je najveći. Pa ja. Ja, to je Ezan. Pet ima vremena u danu kad se moli Bogu. Ja, five times in the day when to pray to God. Ja, ovdje si ovo i ono. Yeah, that's like in in the church when you say hallelujah, you know hallelujah. Allahu Akbar, this hallelujah, Allahu Akbar. Hvalite Boga. Yes. Ista stvar, samo drugi jezik. Ja. Did you know that in the Gospel of Matthew 26:39 that it says Jesus and he went a little further and he fell on his face and he prayed to God? Da ima u Bibliji gdje gdje kaže se da je Isus, znači pao na lice i molio se Bogu. Jeste. That's how we pray. Kao kao čovjek, kao čovjek se molio. As a human he he prayed. Yeah. Voda razkvati. Da, kao čovjek, pa i ljudi treba da se moli Bogu. Čuješ? Sada, moji muslimani, bune se, zarape. Moji muslims here are complaining about the Arabs. Oni se drugačije Bogu mole nego moji muslimani. They pray differently to God than the muslims here. Yeah, but what do you think about when Jesus, when he fell on his face and prayed to God, how we do, the same way. That's another similarity I'm showing. Just, these are just similarity, commonality. Znači, sličnosti you... iz kršćanstva, onaj, gdje Isus je padao na licem na pod, tako i muslimani danas se mole Bogu. When, yes. we, when we say, as-salamu alaykum, Jesus said, 
Shalom Alek, peace be with you. Isto je Isus govorio mir s tobom, selam aleikum, ja. assalamu alaikum. Ja. Ma to je samo jezički različitost. Varijanta jezična. Da. Yeah. What do you think in Aramaic? Aramaic, right? Isus je govorio aramejski. Jel? Ja pa stari yeah. aramejski. Samo jedno selo, ja mislim u Siriji govori taj jezik. Uh, yeah, yeah, bravo. Bravo. Aramejski. Yeah. You know how he, how in Aramaic God is called Allah. Na armenskom se Bog kaže Allaha. In Hebrew, Eloh. Na hebrejskom, Eloh. Ma. Arabic, Allah. Ima korijen u svim jezicima. There is a root in all the languages. I'm just showing these similarities because we there is so much now that you can see that brings people together rather separating. Samo pokazujem sličnosti sad između nas koje bi trebalo da nas pri pridobe da, da budemo bliži a ne dalje. Did you did he know that in the Quran there's a whole chapter named after the blessed mother of Jesus called Maryam? U Koranu je cijela sura po Isusovoj yeah. majci Mariji. Ja, yeah, Marija. Did he ever read the Quran? Jeste li kad čitao prevod Korana? Pa jesam. Ivan ga, brate. He has it. I, has it song. Imao sam, pa sam nekoliko podijelio. Ovi vojci. To the military. To sam ja dijelio kao poklon. As a gift. Oh, he was giving Korans as a gift? Yeah. Do you believe in destiny? Jel vjerujete u sudbinu? Do you think we're here by destiny? Jel mislite da je sudbina što smo mi došli ovdje? Ili slučajno? Proviđanje pro, uh, božansko. Ja sudbinu, providno, pro, providnost božanska. Kako mislite? Sve je po Božijoj zapovijesti. Everything, everything happens by God's will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Proviđenje božansko. Sve, sve što se dešava nama, to je proviđenje. Ja, već znači određeno. Ha? Već određeno. Već određeno od Boga. Ma ja. ja. O, o, it's everything that happens ali, is already decided by God's will. Ali Bog da učestvuje u tome. And On sliku daje. God is giving the picture and uh, not... not yeah. So, uh, is there any questions that, uh, anything about Islam, there anything that, that while we're here that we can answer, or anything that you might have that... Imate li nekih pitanja o Islamu ili nasnoća da bi mogli ovdje pričamo? And can I, and then can I give him a gift? I može li on vama poklon dati? Here, this is mujiza. To su onaj čuda u Kur'an, e, naučna čuda u Kur'an. E, lijepo mi je za biblioteku. It's nice for my library. Yeah. I want to thank you for sitting with us. Zahvaljujem vam se što ste stjeli. Hvala vam na ovom intervju. And I would like to continue that legacy that all the prophets brought. of us working together to collaborate with our neighbors in goodness and Molim in love. da nastavi ovo što su svi naši prijašnji poslanici radili, znači da pričamo jedni drugima i da dostavljamo poruku Božiju. To start these communications, because people can... Ej, među vjerujućim ljudima nikad nije, ne bi došlo do rata. Between believing people, war would never Zer... happen. Uzrok zla na zemlji traži se u ratu, u politici. The root of the evil in, in the war is in politics. Mi se u crkvi stalno molimo za mir, church, ali džavo je tu, But the devil is pa here. tebe ime ne i njega huška jedno na drugo. And uh, pushes us against each other. Mm-hmm. Tako da kažem, dje, ovo što se dešava u svijetu i ka, ka, ti reče poštuj ma zapovijest poštuj to je deset boži dekalog the ten commandments the ten commandments to honor the father and the neighbor 
to, to moramo poći. Ali sve je manje poštovanja. I oca ima tre i stariji. To je problem. I onda je jedna stvar. Ne, u Bogomanje, ja kad uopće jedno kajem Bogomanje, ne dolazi se. People don't come to the houses of worship. To je problem. That's the problem. Sad, ja znam, o Bajranima, bego je džamija puna, a o Petkom, 50 duša u Begova džami i klanja. At Eid, there is Begova džamija, the mosque in Sarajevo is full, but the other days, let's say Friday, there is not many people. Tako je ustao u crkama. So is in the churches. Svaka, svaki džemat broji dvije, tri hiljade duša. A ovdje u crkvi bilo Every Jema is two, three thousand people, but the church came about two hundred. Nasti je taj Jemaat, e pa je to ti. Kasti ti u džami bio. When were you at the mosque? Ja si klanio. Did you pray? E tako ti je. Yeah. So thank you very much, and I would I would like to see these doors open and. Inshallah, you can um, help us to start this good work. Hvala vam što ste pričali s nama i volio bi da imamo ova otvorena vrata da možemo jedno s drugima da pričamo i da to širimo. And I would also, I would sincerely, humbly, I would request that you look more into the life of the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, who came with the same message as Jesus, calling people to La ilaha illallah, there's nothing worthy of worship but the one God, and Muhammad is the messenger. I would. I drago me bilo kad bi vi malo uzeli da izučite život na poslanika Muhameda koji je pozivao samo vjerovanje jednog Boga isto kao Isus. Pa ti pa isti je. Pa isto. U Kuranu je pesto i šezdeset citata iz Biblije. In the Quran there are over five hundred and sixty from the passages from the Bible. Like when Moses came, he said, Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Kao na primjer, kad je Mojsije došao i rekao Israelitima, vaš Bog je jedan. Jesus came with the same message. Jesus je došao isto sa istom porukom, Bog je jedan. That's why you'll see the same thing in Quran, because it's coming from the same source. Zato vidite iste stvari u Koranu, zato što dolazi iz istog izvora od Boga. Da ti kažem, Islam je i hrišćanstvo monotelizam. Islam i hrišćaniti iz monotelizma. I da ti kažem, imaju korijene u starom zavijetu. And there are roots in the Old Testament. So we would say, if you had the Old Testament, New Testament, the Quran is the last and final testament. Da li onda možemo reći, ako ima i stari zavjet i novi zavjet, da je Kur'an posljednji zavjet? Pa, da ti kažem, Kur'an je sveta knjiga. Da li vi vjerujete da je Muhammed Božiji poslanik? Kako da ti kažem? I vjerujem i ne vjerujem. I believe and I don't believe that Muhammad is the messenger. Do you believe that no one should be worshipped except the one God alone without partners? Da li vjerujete da samo jednog Boga treba obožavati, samo njega? Ja. And if we, if you can... To je monoteizam. Yeah, if you can confirm that Muhammad is the messenger, then you would be fulfilling what God Almighty wants all of us to fulfill in this life. Znači, ako već vjerujete da jednog Boga treba obožavati, ako... Sam, without partners. Bez partnera, bez ikoga, znači samo jednog Boga. I pored toga da je Muhammed, njegov poslanik... Just like Jesus, Abraham... Isto kao Isus i Mojsije i Abraham. Ne, Mojsije i Abraham, on stalo 
upotrebljava taj imena. Oni su star zare. Pa dobro, upotrebljava ih da su sa istom porukom došli. Pa nema, pa nema. Ali ista poruka bila, svi. Jedan bol. Ma, monotizam. Ali oni su razradili. Ko je? Isus i Muhammed. To je razrađeno. Oni su misli da je razrađeno. Šta znači, misli, ne razumijem. Abraham je cijelo Isaka na žrtvu da prenese. Dobro. Abraham wanted to sacrifice Isaac. Ovo je evoluiralo. This is evolution later what came. To je to. Dobro, ali on ovdje pominje njih samo da su svi poslanici Boži i došli sa porukom samo jednog Boga obožava. Abraham, Isaac i Jakov. To je trijada. Zarazi kao Isus i Muhammed. How does he think about the first commandment in the Bible where it says, Thou shall have no other gods except one God. Thou shall not worship anything in the heavens and the earth. Znači u prvom zavjetu. Stari zavjet. To vodi stari. Biblija je... Treba samo obožavati jednog Boga. Šta mislite o tome? To je ovo uspravo. Pa to je jasno je, bolam. That's clear. Pa to je jasno. That you only worship one God. Pa nisam ja mnogo božac. I'm not a... Mushrik, what do you say? Yeah, all right. He said, I'm not a good boy. Yeah. Again, thank you so much. Hvala vam puno. Yes. Hvala vama, tebi. So we just finished the short little talk and interview with the head priest here, Serbian priest. How do you think that went? He says he worships only one God. He was friendly to us, not what we may have expected uh, to be, you know, insulted. He didn't think we came here to insult him, yeah. uh, to provoke him. So we had a nice conversation, friendly conversation. Yeah, uh, I was making the example like because there's a lot of tension in this area. Some people uh, from Bosnians or from Muslims around these parts, you think some people are going to get really angry that we came here, that we sat with someone who's a known Chetnik and uh, some people will say that this person, you know, probably being a commander uh, in this uh, genocide that happened, killed so many people and then why are you guys sitting with him? Do you think there's going to be some of that uh, resentment? I think there will. I think there will be. There's always people who, who think this way. There's always people who think uh, in the nationalism mindset. Uh, you you don't go talk to these people. He he hates Muslims. He killed Muslims, and uh, you have no business talking to these people, yeah. calling them to Islam. Now anybody who has, I gave an example. If you had to work uh, at a factory, we talked about that yesterday. If you had to work at a factory, and there were Serbs working there, uh, Chetnis working there, you had to earn your livelihood. You think they would work in that factory? Yes. I mean, they'd you, be professional about you it, right? Be professional. You have your job. You have your paycheck. So you gotta work with these people. Yeah. But we have to be beyond professionalism when it comes to this deen and sharing the message. This is what Allah, the Creator, told us to do. Yes. It, it's and it's not up to us to choose who's gonna submit to God or who's not. Uh, yeah. Submitting, who is not supposed to submit to God. It's not up to us to choose. And it's not up to us who we're gonna choose to deliver the message to or not. No, that's yeah. uh, we have as the Prophet Muhammad salam, had to deliver the message. Who's gonna follow the message? Who's gonna submit to God? That's Allah's will. Yeah. And our job is to deliver the message to whomever. One thing that came to mind because we know that Allah is a Rahman, a Rahim, and there was the man who killed 99. You know the story of the man who killed 99 people, and then yes. he went to the monk and he said, because now. It was eating him away. And he went there and said, is there any mercy for me? What do I do? He said, what? You killed 99 people. And then he told him, he said, you know, hey, you're done. There's there's no hope for you. He killed him too. Now he killed 100. Yeah. But then he went to a learned man. And that learned man gave him the proper advice. He told him to leave this area. And obviously, he told him about turning to his creator alone without associates, and turning to the one God. And then he went. And on his way, he died. And then he was actually closer to the place he had just left but then the angels came and they asked where should we put this person because the angel of punishment came the angels of mercy 
And then Allah made it that his way because he said wherever he was closer to, that's where he'll go. Now imagine this person killed a hundred people, but he turned away from setting up partners with Allah, away from the evil. He came and he repented and then Allah made the way that he was going towards closer and he admitted him to Jannah. Yes, and this is a perfect example for this that we should do. Call everybody uh, to Islam, to Allah, to submit to Allah. Mm -hmm. So as I said, it's not up to us to choose who is good for it or not. Yeah, so I think we did our part. We told him about La ilaha illallah. Yes. We told him about the last and final messenger sent to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad. Which he said he does and does not believe yeah. in. So it's a step closer. Yeah. And we uh, shared some of the commonalities there. And we did our part. Inshallah, the people, if he doesn't accept, the people that are watching, the Serbs and others who are tuning in, who have a problem with this trinity, who doesn't make sense, they're also doing things in life that's not bringing them peace, solace, and contentment, they're searching for purpose. Yes. Inshallah, this can be a means that can help them to overcome that nationalism and to not see Muslims as the other and all the other things that they're programmed to believe. And maybe they can come to the purpose of life, the true purpose of life, of only worshiping the one God alone, doing good deeds, being morally upright, and this can be a means for them. Yes, and also an example that we can come here to the Serbian part and uh, openly talk. We came here to the church, which everybody would think it was, it was dangerous. I myself thought it would be dangerous, but we had a nice conversation. Yeah. Thank you guys here in Republic of Srpska in Bosnia. Assalamu alaikum. Have you, have you ever read the Quran? Have you ever looked into the life of uh, the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him? Do you have any questions the Quran? Do you know that it's an article of faith in Islam to believe and love Jesus? There's actually also a chapter named after his blessed mother in the Quran. We believe that every messenger came with the same message, calling people to only worship one God. I vjerujemo da je svaki poslanik došao sa istom porukom pozivajući ljude da vjeruju samo jednog Boga. You have you ever heard the statement la ilaha illallah? Jeste čuli za to znate što znači? Dobro, to je to su stvari iz opšte kulture koje ljudi yeah. znaju. Mi u ortodoksu odnosno u pravoslavnoj crkvi imamo svoju vjeru i svoga Boga i Orthodox Church have our faith and our God. So the reason I say this is because when we see these similarities, then we can go ahead and see like there's so many things in common, and it can help to destroy some of those barriers. Kad vidimo sličnosti u religijama, znači na isto kao i Muslimani vjeruju jednog Boga i kršćani ortodoksni vjeruju kršćani vjeruju jednog Boga. I kad imamo te zajedničke stvari. And when we say Jesus, we say peace be upon him. Yeah, and we believe that Jesus came with the same message as Muhammad. First it was a negation, not to worship anything other except the one God, and affirming that God is only one. There is a big difference between the religions. Pogotovo nakon raskola između istočne i zapadne crkve. Especially of the split da, between Eastern and Western churches. Ne pričamo yeah. sad druge strane, ali ono što mi kao hrišćani trebamo da imamo, to je samo ljubav jedni prema drugim. And what we uh, Christians have to have is uh, love between each other. What about the neighbors who are non-Christian? Because Je Jesus didn't limit that love. For as well, as well, for love for everybody. And respect. Thank you very much.
Pa kao vjera ista, govori ti nemoj ubiti, nemoj ukras, budi čovjek, ljudi širi ljubavi. Jeste, jedan je Bog. Jedan je Bog, samo što kako ga ti zoveš, to je tvoj problem. Ja poštujem tebe kako ti tu obhodište prema svom Bogu, ja se obhodim svom, niti ja smetam tebi, niti ti meni. To je ljubav. Nije svom, nije svom, nego je jedan Bog. A pazi, ja sad kako ćeš ti... Nemamo mi jednog Boga, vi jednog Boga, jedan je Bog. Vidi, ja neću sad da ulazim u to, i nisam ja vjerski, ni ovo, ni ono, ja vjerujem samo da onaj ko vjeruje u Boga, da je dobar čovjek. Ali istinski, a ne ono, odideš u džami, luter, jel ti šef ide pored tebe, pa da mu se ušlihtaš ili nešto. So I'm glad how this went. I wasn't sure what to expect, what's gonna happen. I didn't think this is gonna happen, this is gonna, I wasn't sure how the people here are gonna react to us coming here to this small community of Serbs, Orthodox people, calling them to Islam, so I thought it might, uh, they might get offended, they might think we came here to provoke them. Uh, I also had in my mind a small possibility even some guns would be drawn, but alhamdulillah everything went good, we, we, they uh, accepted us here, they talked to us nicely, in a nice manner, so everything went very very good. Yeah, uh, th this can be a, a start for others watching this who live in this er area. Uh, they don't have to wait for us to go to the next place. Yes. People can start doing this in your local town. You make the initiative. We talked about being professional. Be professional for your dean. Go ahead and do it. This is a mandate from Allah. This is this is something that the Creator of the heavens and the earth has mandated on all of us. Uh, especially these institutions that are organized, you know, the ones who, who have control of, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call them here, the... Um, the uh, institution. Yeah, uh, the, the Islamic, Islamic institutions. Islamic and the uh, Orthodox Church and the Catholic yeah, Church. Yeah, so especially at a higher level, these people who organize, they should be organizing this. They're they the should. ones they back in you. Uh, religious council, as he said, the priest, they meet once or twice a year that, that's but, uh, that's 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 not enough now see no. it, we have organizations uh in in americas and and usually people from here they end up following us over there but they're late about it so we're bring, we're bringing it up to speed bef so they don't have to they can not wait for another war to happen and things yeah. erupt but really truly uh not to compromise your dean now see what happened before people are becoming friends and now you're drinking alcohol eating pork you know uh be becoming you know what you're supposed to be calling people to right yes uh, losing your identity hold your identity you're one who has submitted to the will of the creator you're a muslim you have to be kind you should be compassionate merciful but you need to be professional and not let this your ego your hatred for for people block you from delivering this message of la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah yes i mean imagine go talk to these people and uh, if they start accepting islam one two five ten uh, when they start accepting Islam, it's much better for the peace here in Bosnia and to live together than to, from hate you have nothing. From hate and uh, provoking each other and uh, you can only bring uh, ha more hatred and uh, even it can develop to, to another war. Yeah, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, the Creator is the one, Allah is the one who makes believers, but at the end, you can ta tear down some of those, those walls. Uh, you can make help to uh, remove many of the Abu Jahls that are out there, make yeah. Abu Talibs, right? Yeah. That t tomorrow, you know, you ha have people now, you, they develop a better understanding of uh, who, what Islam is, who Muslims are, and, you know, inshallah, some great good can come from this, and you guys can start now. We, uh, we planted the seed. You guys can go ahead and uh, who are watching out here, um, maybe take the next step and uh, try to continue what we're trying to start here. You know, the people also, people who don't know about about their own religion, Islam, the people in here in Istanbul, Sarajevo, when they want to insult, insult a Serb or a Croat, they go and curse Jesus, which uh, you're insulting yourself and your religion then, if you curse Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sharing these commonalities, talking about some positive things, delivering the message, sharing the purpose with the people here in Bosnia, coming out from the Republic of Srpska, and uh, Salaam Alaikum. In closing, what stood out from this interview is when we asked the priest, 
if he believed that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was a messenger sent by the Creator Allah, he didn't say yes or no. He heard him. He no. never. Another thing is that we kept repeating, repeating the simple message of Tawheed, of the oneness of Allah, of the Creator. And you notice that he agreed. He kept saying monotheism. So we end with this. We ask our, our Christian friends, uh, neighbors, to really reflect, and specifically those in this part, that if you do believe in the Almighty, the Creator, it's a simple shift from going from throwing up because the Serbs are known to do this, which represents three, and they say not three, but one. But in reality, all the messengers, including Jesus, they never did this. They never said Trinity, knew about Trinity, nor did they throw up a Trinity. What they did was they did this. And what this signifies is the pure monotheism, is the belief in truly one God. And I'll end with an ayah from the verbatim word of God that we invited the priests and all of you to read the Quran where God Almighty, this is your creator and mine speaking, where Allah says, Kul hu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. Say he is Allah, the one and only, the absolute, the eternal. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is nothing comparable to Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth. Not Jesus, not Muhammad, nothing in creation is the creator. Jesus worshiped one God, not a trinity, Moses and Abraham and all the messengers that Allah sent, including Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, who is the last and final messenger. They all call to the pure monotheism. And closing up, in the Quran, Allah tells us, in the Dina, in the Lahi al Islam, that the only way of life acceptable to Allah, to the Creator, is the submission and surrender to the one God. And this is how you truly get peace. And that, in one word, is summed up Islam. That's what it is. Peace acquired by submitting your will, not to a human being, not to materialism, not to money, not to a stick, to a stone, to a bone, nothing in creation, but the one God. This is Islam. And whoever hears about Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and we say this with love and compassion, and denies him, this is just like us if we denied Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, or we elevate him to a status of God, this can get us into the hellfire or anybody the same way if you deny Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. As the last and final messenger, he said, the one who denies me, hears about me, he'll also be in the hellfire. We say this with compassion and love because we want you and all of us to be together in the Jannah. And the only way we can get to the Jannah, the paradise, is by worshiping the Creator on His terms, not our desires, alone without any partners or associates, as one God and doing good, righteous deeds. And this is how we get the mercy and the Jannah of Allah, of the Creator. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.